Welcome to Dr. Drone. In this short video tutorial, we're going to help you get some notes added to your new drone track so you can start working on your intonation. So all you have to do to get a drone going is find this little button up here that says add some notes and press it. You'll see a note entry panel displayed. This lower line of notes is a lower octave and the one the notes with the arrows to the right of it is an upper octave. For now, let's just Click on a note so you can hear it. There we go, we have a nice concert F. And we get out of here by pressing on the close button on the bottom right. And then we play this F by pressing on the play button. Here we go. We hear a four beat count off. And off it goes. This drone is going to be held for 16 beats at 60 beats per minute. That's pretty exciting. You can change the tempo, beats, rests in between notes, which will be talked about later, set the transposition, all sorts of different things. So let's go ahead and just throw some things out there so you can get an idea of what this can do. And from there, the best thing to do is experiment, tweak some dials, some values, hit some buttons, and see what happens. So let's go back into the editor. You can either go back in by pressing on the note up here, any note that's up here, or you can press on this pencil icon and it pulls up the note panel entry editor. Okay, let's add a few more notes. Right now, since this note is highlighted, any note that we press on will replace it. If you want to add more notes to the series, hit this plus button that's down on the bottom and a little plus cursor will show up. Whatever note we press now in this entry area will be displayed wherever the plus cursor is. So let's enter a nice little, yeah, let's do a little triad. We have a little G, a nice G, working on our dominant seven chords. And then for kicks, let's go back down. G, E, a little flat nine for you jazzers out there and back down to C. If you want to, you can switch down here with this icon to the sharps if you have a piece or an exercise that focuses on sharps, back to flats, etc. These icons down here, down here, will switch between note names, or you can also go by scale degrees, which is useful if you're working with exercises that works around the circle of fourths. Over here you have backspace. It just Backspaces, it deletes a note that's before it. Let's put that C back in. Mm -hmm. If you want to delete a, spef a specific note, excuse me, in mm -hmm. the series, you click on the note that you want to delete and you hit the little trash can, bam, and it's gone. Let's put it back in by hitting the plus, going back mm -hmm. down to C, and that's it. These cursor keys, cursor buttons, just puts the cursor addition, the, the little add cursor where you want to add something new. And that's pretty much it for the note entry panel. Let's get out of here by pressing on close. And then when we go to play, it will play each one of these notes in sequence, the number of beats specified at the tempo given, with the amount of rests that you specify in between. So right now, when this C is finished, it'll go directly to the E. switch the rest to say two there'll be two beats of silence in between the e and the g and on out for the rest of the series let's wait for that so we can hear that off it goes two beats of silence a couple of other things just to show you um, you can add intervals we just added a perfect fifth that way you can practice working your major and minor thirds in the middle just intonation, making sure things lock in, getting rid of the beats. We have the two beats of silence before moving on. You can add the major third, get rid of the perfect fifth, minor third, etc. Let's go and stop this so I can show you a couple of more things. We've talked about the note entry panel. You have your note name versus scale degree. 
Another thing, right now we are going beat based. That means that each note will be sustained a certain amount of beats at a given tempo. Hit this icon and it'll go purely by seconds. So if you want a drone to go for 500 seconds, you can do so. A quick word about these dials. All you have to do to make these things work, you press anywhere on the dial. Not on here, not over here, just somewhere on the dial and then drag up for the value to go up, drag down for the value to go down. Boom, de boom, de boom, that's all you have to do. If you go left or right after you press, nothing happens. If you try to go around like it's an actual dial, nothing really happens. It's all about pressing, going up and going down. You can also edit the value directly by pressing on the number and then you can type it in. There you go. You have a 500 second drone for each one of these to get into your Zen state of mind. So that's the time base versus beat base. You can also change your concert pitch A if you want A440 or A442, or if you're working on your Baroque and you're, you need an A420 or lower, you can set that here. This little flag over here is how many beats um, will will be counted off before it plays the drone so you can start the thing, get ready to go, breathe, and then play along with it. And then this icon will be discussed, or this little panel will be discussed by Jason Solomon, Dr. Jason Solomon, whose brainchild Dr. Drone is. He'll talk more about some of the practical things that you can do with Dr. Drone. How would you how you would use it in an individual setting, in your warm-ups or your exercises or your ear training or also in an ensemble setting where you can play it over some loudspeakers along with the concert band and the concert band can work their intonation over the top of, of the drone. Let's go ahead and close out of here. Um, over here, if you press on this icon on the bottom right, it's a metronome. All it does is it continues the little click in the background. So now during our 500 second C, you hear the metronome in the background. And the metronome is at the same pitch as the drone, the same, the same pitch, the same note itself, in order to help you stay in that zen state of mind of this is where my intonation needs to be. You can turn it on or off. This button here is a repeat feature where at the end, when the end of the sequence is reached, it will repeat back to the beginning and it can repeat on repeat, it can ascend by half step or by whole step or go in thirds or it can go around the circle, all sorts of different little um, patterns that you can work through. And that's it for the main features. If you want to save a track that you've created, all you need to do is up here on the top, press on new tune, type a name, your name here. You name your track and then you hit our favorite save icon, tune saved, and then if you want to get back to it at a later date, you hit this little folder. And you can see your name here. Here are a couple of other tunes that have already been entered. You can see if you open Twinkle Variations number one, something opens up. And if we go back to your name here, it leaves us off with where we left off. Um, and when it saves, it saves everything. It saves the dials, it saves the values, it saves if you're note based versus scale degree or time versus beat based, it saves everything. So you can have a very customized um, tune or track for what you're working on. And then finally, if you want to make a new tune, hit the new button and off you go. And finally, settings. If you go into here and you have any questions, this is where you want to go, help. Watch the video tutorials. You can, um, there'll be more video tutorials coming or you can also ask us specific questions or give us feedback. We're very interested in getting feedback on how to make this a really legitimate educational tool for either your own practicing or for your ensembles. If you have any suggestions or any questions, feel free to visit us on our Facebook page and drop us a note.
and then poke around in here in the advanced settings. There's some fun stuff. You can tweak your sound a little bit by adding harmonics, removing harmonics. But I think Jason will talk about that in another video at a future date. So that's it. Those are the main features of Dr. Drone. Again, if you have any questions or you'd like to provide us with some feedback or ratings, we love great ratings, um, go ahead and visit our Facebook page and we hope to hear from you in the future. Enjoy Dr. Drone.